Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Honda Fit EXL. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot to like about the 2019 Honda Fit. As small, economy-minded hatchback cars go, it's engaging to drive around turns and comfortable when you're just cruising on the highway. This is especially nice when you consider just how good the fit is at maneuvering through tight spots in big cities and how versatile its special configurable rear seats are. The fit is also one of the most efficient vehicles in the class as well. EPA fuel economy estimates for the fit are as high as 36 miles to the gallon combined. That's 33 miles to the gallon in the city and 40 on the highway with the automatic transmission. In-car technology is a strong point for the 2019 Honda Fit. Last year, Honda added Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, which helped to address the lack of navigation in the lower trim levels. Safety features on the Fit are impressive, too. The 2019 Honda Fit is available in four trim levels, LX, Sport, EX, and EXL. All Fits have a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that drives the front wheels. A standard six-speed manual or optional CVT automatic are available in all but the EXL trim, which only comes with the automatic. With the manual transmission, the engine is rated at 130 horsepower and 114 pound-feet of torque. Those numbers drop slightly to 128 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque when you pair the engine with the CVT automatic transmission. If you're looking for a relatively inexpensive, high-quality, subcompact car, there's no doubt that the 2019 Honda Fit EXL should be at the top of your list. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Honda Fit EXL. Real quick, before we do that, you know, the Honda Fit competes with several cars. It competes with the Kia Soul. It competes with the Honda Civic. And it competes, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Toyota Corolla. I have done a build and price review of the 2020 Kia Soul, the 2019 Honda Civic, and the 2020 Toyota Corolla. I'm going to put up links to all three of those videos right now, and you can take a look at those after you watch this video. Okay, let's check out the, um, the gallery. We're going to look at the exterior uh, photos for the 2019 Honda Fit. You can clearly see that they give us a little snippet of information underneath each photo. For instance, right under here, they let us know that this particular Honda Fit has 16-inch alloy wheels and fog lights, and that's standard on the Sport, the EX, the EXL. And it tells us that the EXL is shown in Helios Yellow Pearl. Now, that said, I'm not going to necessarily read all of those. If you want to make sure you read every slide, then you can just simply pause the video. Why? Because a lot of this information is going to be redundant. We're going to take a look at the features a little bit later. And so I don't want to necessarily read it all now and then read it again in the feature. So let's move on. But that said, the information is just so good, you know, it lets us know all fits come standard with a multi-angle rear view camera, right, that offers three different views, normal, top, down, and wide. And they let us know that they're showing the EXL, which looks very nice, by the way, in lunar silver. Okay, what do we got now? Here's a little red one. And they keep showing the EXL, maybe because it's the nicest one. There we go. Now we finally have a different one. Here's an LX model being shown. Yep. Got it. Looks pretty good. Unique details are talking about stylized LED uh, headlights. Take a look at the wheels. Nice shot of the back end. Good shot of the front end there. Uh, the design looks pretty good. I mean, for what it is. And here, here, here's the heart of the engine. And we know that in the manual version, if you pair it with a manual transmission... It has a little more horsepower than if you pair it with the automatic transmission. Here's a nice uh, side shot. Seats up to five people. All right, let's take a look at the interior. Well, uh, they're starting to show us some different stuff. Here they're showing the high-strength steel body construction and how it dissipates frontal crash energy like we really know what, what we're looking at, right? <laughs> um, here is the Honda Lane Watch, which is standard on the Fit EX and the EXL. So we get this. Essentially, it's a blind spot camera. For the right hand side it's a blind spot camera for the right hand side of the car essentially here they're showing another exl and that yellow which we will not be doing yellow um here they're showing what fog lights 
that's standard. It's standard on every model except for the base model, apparently, because here they're showing the Sport, and the Sport's just one model up from the LX. So fog lights come standard on every Honda Fit except for the base model, apparently. Here they're talking about how aggressive the, uh, the exterior design is, and I guess it does look pretty good. I mean, for what it is, again, it's a Honda Fit at the end of the day. Here they're showing what? The available smart entry system. That's pretty cool. It's standard on our EXL, and they're showing an EXL in crystal black pearl. Okay, here's our last photo, which talks about the headlights. And, yeah, let's move on. Let's take a look at the interior photos. Well, this picture is clearly showing the hybrid version. They're talking about uh, eco. Well, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. It says eco assist coaching bars on either side of the speedometer give you real-time feedback on how efficiently you're drive how efficiently you're driving. Okay, great, wonderful. And here's a nice shot of the multifunction steering wheel, intuitive steering wheel mounted controls, puts phone calls, music, all that. They're showing the steering wheel of an EXL model, which works out great because we're doing a building price of the EXL, so that really works out. Here's a Honda Satellite Link Navigation System. It's available on the EXL. It is not standard on any Honda Fit, not even the top tier. Here they're showing what? Listen to your music, talk shows, and all that. They're showing just the different sources that you can tap into your music. FM, AM, Sirius XM. You've got USB. You've got Bluetooth audio. You can connect your iPod. You've got Pandora. You've got Bluetooth streaming with your phone. you got a lot going on there. You've got no problem with your tech and your music. Here they're showing the available leather trim seats, which is standard on our EXL. Noted. The reason why we're doing the EXL is, A, it's a $20,000 car. And when we do these cars at this low price point, I like to go all in. Honda's given us leather interior for $20,000. I think that's a pretty good deal. And, well, I guess we have to option the navigation, but I don't think it's going to be very expensive. Here's another shot of an EXL with navigation shown in black leather. I like that. We're probably going to do uh, black leather ourselves. Here is the start your engine without taking your fob out of your uh, pocket. Push button start. That's standard on our EXL. Here they're showing the six-speed transmission, which you don't even have that as an option. We cannot even get this transmission on our EXL build, but there's the tranny right there. Uh, here they're just showing us the real-time uh, miles per gallon and the multi-informational multi display just next to the speedometer. So to help you, I guess, be more efficient in your driving. Down here, we've got what? We've got some uh, media. We've got the power outlet. and We've got USB right there. Here they're telling us that uh, they're showing the EXL model, by the way, but standard Bluetooth technology so we can make phone calls. That's standard. There are those paddle shifters if you get the Sport. If you get the Sport with the CVT transmission, right, then there you go. Even the EXL trims, get those same paddle shifters. So our EXL that we're going to build in price today also going to come with those paddle shifters. Check this out. There's an economy button standard on every fit with a manual transmission with a simple push. Your fit configures its systems to use less power and save fuel. Hmm. That's nice. I guess that could come in sometimes pretty handy, I bet. Check it out. What we didn't see were our colors. We saw some of the colors like this Orange Fury. And then down here, it lets us know what models, uh, what trim levels this actual paint is available on. It's available on our EXL. Then we've got that Helios Yellow. We've got the Platinum White Pearl. I like that. The Lunar Silver Metallic. like that too. The Modern Steel Metallic. So far, all of these are available on the EXL trim. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Black Pearl. We've got our red, and then we have an Aegean blue. Which color do we like? I don't know. I'm not really crazy about any of them, but I guess out of all of them, we're probably going to end up doing a platinum white pearl version of a 2019 Honda Fit, but uh, let's move on. All right, let's learn a little bit about the exterior of our 2019 Honda Fit. Small car, big attitude. It's the right mix of sporty styling and aerodynamic efficiency. I would agree with that. I would agree with that for sure. They also say that the body lines and the contours flow into the headlights, grill, and badging, creating a unique front end with an attitude. There are some accessories, LED fog lights, 
the available LED fog lights help improve visibility when navigating poor weather conditions, including rain, snow, or dense fog. So that's one of the accessories. There'll be others, but that's one of their notable accessories. There's other notable accessories. There's a tailgate spoiler right here. Looks, looks pretty cool. The tailgate spoiler is all about style. It complements the aerodynamic styling of your fit for an even sportier, more unique look. Then we have what? Wow. Deliberate details. The contours. Oh, body side molding. And this looks pretty good. This body side molding looks pretty good. So we've got that. We've got these 16-inch black alloy wheels, which are really nice. We've got the splash guards down here. That also look very nice. We've got the, hmm, there's factory performance accessories too. So, yeah, Honda's got a lot of accessories. When we do our building price, we'll make sure to go through the accessories and get the ones that we most definitely want for our, uh, our Fit EXL. All right, let's take a look at the interior of our 2019 Honda Fit EXL. Well, what did they tell us? The Fit interior was designed to maximize the size and utility of the space. See the incredible results. Let's see them. Here's the cabin. The Fit has room up to five with leather trim seating. Well, I should say the Fit EXL, right? They all have seating for up to five, but just the EXL has leather trim seating for a luxurious touch, right? And that is why, my friends, we are doing it. We can get leather for $20,000. We could throw on navigation, and this shouldn't cost us more than about, what? I don't know, 22 or so out the door. Remember, I told you some of this stuff was going to be redundant. Here's that economy button. But what they tell us now, they do, I guess, give us a little more information. They let us know that it optimizes the engine, the transmission, the air conditioning, and the cruise control to help save fuel. Then there's that standard six-speed transmission that's available on every model except for the EXL. You got the paddle shifters. That's available on every fit that comes with an automatic transmission. Okay, there are other amenities, like what? Seat warmers, right? It's hot. Very cool. Heated front seats. I like that. Also a little redundant from uh, when we were looking at the gallery. We know about the steering wheel mounted controls, right? Controlling audio, phone, voice command, and cruise control functions. Then there's what? There's a push-button start. That's pretty self-explanatory. There's Here's our power outlets. We've got... Uh, a USB and a 12 volt power outlet down there in the center armrest. All right, let's check out the utility of our 2019 Honda Fit EXL and its other configurations, I suppose. Second row magic seat. What's that? Versatile seats transform into four modes utility, long, tall, and fresh. Okay, so now they're going to show us the modes. <clears throat> Here's utility mode. All right, fold down the second row magic seat into utility mode. And you get up to 52 cubic feet of cargo capacity for a bike or even small couch. Then there's long mode transport. <laughs> They've come up very clever ways to just talk about how they fold the seats down. At any rate, transport longer items such as ladders or surfboards by folding down the passenger side seats in both the front and rear. They're just telling people how to better use the car. And then you have tall mode. Remove the head restraints and fold up the rear seats to create up to four feet of vertical space and the Honda Fit for taller cargo items. And then lastly, lastly, there's this refresh mode. What is that all about? The front seats fold back and the rear seats recline for when all you need to fit in is a nap. Gotcha. She's not sleeping. But at any rate, yeah, there it is. Okay, so just like how the exterior had accessories, the interior for our 2019 Honda Fit EXL has... Uh, interior accessories. One of them is the LED illumination. So you can get blue LED interior lights down in the footwell, etc. You can get illuminated door trim sill. There it is. All season tires. A cargo net. A cargo organizer. Armrest compartment. Yeah, there it all is. So those are some interior features for our 2019 Honda Fit EXL. I think one of my favorites are the heated seats. All right, let's talk technology. We're getting through it. What does it say? Navigation, push-button start, Honda Lane Watch, connected audio, and smart entry. All available tech features in the 2019 Fit make it even more connected. So these are all things that we could pretty much option our Fit with, but ours is already loaded. Let's jump into this. 
Here they're just showing the available Apple CarPlay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here's the Apple, I'm sorry, the Android Auto. Here's our Honda Link. It's the app that you can use to help connect your car, schedule service, lock and unlock your door, all that stuff there. Then here's the navigation system that they call Honda Satellite Link Navigation System with voice recognition and Honda HD Digital Traffic, which gives us turn-by-turn -turn directions uh, to almost any address in the U.S., all right, let's talk about the audio. So apparently there's a premium audio system. Stay connected with Bluetooth streaming audio on all fit trims. Then crank up the volume with an available 180-watt six-speaker audio system. All right, USB connectivity. So what do we got? The USB audio uh, audio interface lets you connect any compatible, de compatible device to your 7-inch display and the audio system of your fit. And then what do we got? Radio choices. Listen to your favorite music. Right, we kind of went over this. All the different sources that you can tap into to play music, re listen to music, uh, all that. So that's the setup for audio. Here's that multi-angle rear view camera, which we know is standard. Here's the Honda Lane Watch. Now, I don't know if this is standard or, or if it's an available option. We'll find that out going forward. I have no doubt that this feature is going to be on our EXL one way or the other. And then, of course, we have this smart entry system, right, which allows you to lock and unlock your fit without having to take your keys out of your purse or your pocket or your jacket or wherever, wherever it's located. So here we're, gonna, we're not going to watch the videos, of course, but we're going to talk about it real fast. This is Honda Sensing, and this is that suite of uh, driver and safety assistive technologies, right? There's collision mitigation braking. There's road departure. There's a road departure mitigation system. There's adaptive cruise control. There's lane keeping assist. All in all, it looks to be six features that make up that Honda Sensing, right? Six different features that make up Honda Sensing. I think that's pretty cool. All right, well, you know what? Here's the deal. We've gone through the whole thing. They, Honda's told us everything they wanted to tell us about the car. Uh, here's those four trim levels, like I said. We can see the price points, the LX, where it starts, the Sport, the EX. The EXL starts at $20,520. That's where we're at, CVT with paddle shifters, leather-trimmed interior, heated front seats, and available navigation system. Let's go ahead and build and price the EXL. Okay, so it only comes with the CVT transmission. We know. What color do we want it in? I said platinum white pearl. Is that a color option upgrade? Nope, doesn't look to be. Only comes with black leather, which is fine. If we want that Honda, if we want the navigation system, we got to chunk down a thousand bucks. But there's an I here because is that bundled in with some other package? No, they just tell us what the deal is. Garmin-based navigation system, HD digital traffic, 3D renderings of terrain and buildings, predictive local search, simple voice recognition, recognition, free map updates for five years. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Add to our build. We got it. Yep, continue. We're gonna go ahead and go for that. Honda Sensing, we've already got it. What's up with the wheels? So we've got uh, your standard 16-inch wheel. And then there are these accessory ones. There are these diamond cut ones, which look like what? Well, they don't look like any fun. So based on the fact that they don't look fun, I'm just going to go ahead and close this window. Let's find out what the well, let's find out what these look like real fast. Okay, those look fun. They look more fun. Wheels are stringently tested. Da, da, da. They're not really saying anything. But these look fun, and they're available on the EXL. They're $1,196. So we're going to get those. Look, we're sitting at $22,716. What do we have for packages? Wow, really? What is this? The Honda Factory Performance Package? You get a sports suspension and titanium shift knob and more. What else? Sport pedals. You get a shift boot. Uh, you get all this badging and junk. You know what? Why not? It's it's twenty eight hundred dollars, but it seems kind of fun. Now we have a twenty five thousand dollar car with where the base model starts at somewhere around sixteen thousand dollars. But I don't care. I want to build a car that I want. I don't want to build a car that's always based off the price point. It's no fun if all you're ever doing is building a car that's built off a price point. Um, body side moldings and all that. Nah. We want the LED fog lights, however, though. I do want those LED fog lights. 
uh, the moon roof visor. We don't need that. These are the popular items. But yeah, go ahead and show us all. I want the splash guards. I want that tailgate sport. Oh, what do we ah. So, oh, it already has the underbody spoiler. Tailgate spoiler, underbody spoiler. So we'll leave that. Um, what about uh, wheel locks? I always usually get wheel locks, and we're going to get them in black this time. Uh, oh, we can get a wheel lock set. Right, the wheel lug nut set is included with that uh, that performance package that we got. So we can skip over all that. Let's take a look at interior accessories. Give me the all-season floor mats. Give me the auto dimming mirror. Give me that cargo cover. Uh, let's look at show all so we can make sure that we're getting them all in there. The rest of it just looks like storage solutions. I do like those illuminated door sills. Do you know what that looks like? That's what a, illuminated door sills look like, and they're available on every trim level. So we're going to go ahead and get those. We don't need that interior lighting. I do like this rear seat back protector, though. Check that out. I like the rear seat back protector. Prevents that stuff from getting scuffed up. $75. I'm all over it. Uh, electronic accessories. Remote engine start system. Yep. Want it. Got it. Look, we're at $27,000. Let's go to the build summary. Okay, so here we are at the build summary. Let me see if I can actually download this build summary. The short answer is no. It doesn't look like it. Uh, manufacturers are changing it around. You used to be able to just download the PDFs, and most of them you still can. Some of them you can't. Honda's not set up that way. At any rate, here it is. 2019 Honda Fit EXL CVT with navigation. And that performance package. $27,000 all in platinum white, black leather. We've got the Han, we got the navigation. It's a nice, this one's loaded. It is a lot of money, but this is a lot of car. This Honda is going to last a long time. You bought this brand new, you're going to have this car forever. And if you took care of it, it's going to take care of you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I like the Honda Fit. It's nice. I like the EXL. You get leather and all that there. Uh, it might be a little expendy because of $27,000. I might be thinking about something else. But this is fun. If I'm really all sold on this car, it's a lot of car. I'm going to wrap this video up. If you have uh, watched it from front to back, you're awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a really wonderful day. And I will see you on the very next video.